have an amazing Super Bowl Sunday. Um, today we're going to talk about things that have been working for me um, pretty good for the month of January. So basically my January favorites, but I want to just say there's just things that have been just working for me. Things that I've been really enjoying, things that um, have been working for me for a while, not just January, but um, that has stood out to me in January. So I would say the first items would be the Wet n Wild um, foundation in bronze beige and the matte and poreless by Maybelline the Fit Me in 220. I really really like this these foundations. They wear well. They look beautiful. They look skin like. They don't get cakey. I've got mascara on the side of my eye. My nose. Um yeah, they just and they last all day. Like I don't have time um in work to touch up my makeup. I just don't I barely even have time to use the bathroom. So I like that I can put those on and know that my makeup is gonna look great all day. Um, the second item that I've been using that is been a favorite, sorry, I keep messing with my hair, is just, I put too much hairspray and it's kind of stiff. And so I'm trying to loosen it up a little. So I apologize, I know I mess with my hair a lot in my videos and it's for the same reason. Um, I know it's a product that's a little bit more on the pricey side, but it is a product that I've been loving, absolutely loving forever. I'm almost out of it which is my La Mer um, face setting powder. I love this. It never makes me look cakey. It goes on so beautifully and it doesn't emphasize any of my um, fine lines or wrinkles. I am um, in my late thirties, so that can happen very quickly, especially right here. I get a lot of crepiness um, with certain concealers, certain powders, and this does not do that, um, which is amazing. But I do not put that under my eyes. Um, my favorite for that is the KKW Brighten in number two. This has literally been the powder I've been using the most. I have a huge dent in it. So this, I will be hitting pound on this soon. This is such a softly milled powder. It looks so pretty. It brightens, but not to the point where you look like Kim 19 maybe early 2000s, you know, when she did the big bright, but it brightens and also sets your foundation beautifully. I really, really like this powder. And so when I'm out of it, I will be repurchasing it. Um, the other products I've been really, really enjoying is my P. Louise base. I was not an eyeshadow base kind of a person before. I just used concealers. I just thought that that was um, the best way to conceal your, I mean to, that's what everyone else was doing. So I figured, okay, well, I mean, that's what they're doing, so I guess it's fine, right? Well, I also noticed that my eyeshadow was always creasing or just not lasting. And so when this started kind of going around, which I was probably like the last person on earth to buy this. Um, I really wanted to use it. I really, really enjoyed it. And it keeps my eyeshadow looking right now how, and that's exactly how it will look at the end of the day. And the person that um, really, really inspired me to wear eyeshadow primer is um, Robert Welsh. He is a makeup artist, an actual makeup artist in real life. And then he does kind of a lot of like makeup artist reacts to top influencers um, makeup application. I love his videos. They're really, really funny and he's really, really interesting and he's very informative. So if you're looking for someone to teach you something, he's the one to go for. Again, I said it's Robert Welsh, W-E-L-S-H. So ever since then, I've, I've loved this stuff. I use it every time I put eyeshadow on. Uh, I have said in the past that I am not, um, I am not loyal to any particular eye, sh um, eye line or a brow product at all um, but I really have been in like I hadn't used Anastasia in a really long time just because there's so many really great ones out there that are cheaper but um, I haven't been able to find one recently like um, I tried the 
Fenty one and it, I wasn't really a huge fan. I don't like the brush at the back. I like a spoolie because it really kind of combs, like if you get too much product in one spot, the spoolie kind of combs through and gets to your skin to lift it up and soften it. And that brush on um, the, um, the Fenty one just doesn't do that right for me. So that, I just wasn't a big fan. So this has been working really well for me for the month of January. Um, the other product I've been really enjoying, we're kind of moving eye towards eyes, is the new Fenty eyeliner, and it's not the. Oh my gosh! I just literally had it. Found it. Okay, so the color is also called um, because I'm black, and the only thing I don't like is that it's it gets really round. So it's really hard to get like a really sharp line because you're doing it with a round tip. As you can see, kind of, it's just really, really round, but it is so black, like super black. This is the liquid, which I also really like. I like this one for, um, this one actually, I ended up leaving the lid off a little bit. So I'm trying to get it to work again because I literally only used it once when that happened. Um, so I'm hoping leaving it upside down for a while is going to get it to work. But so this is the liquid and this is the pencil and I am loving this. I think I wanted in more colors. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, the other product I've been really enjoying is the, um, Hourglass Concealer. This stuff is marvelous and I have obviously I wouldn't say mature because I when I think of mature I think of 50s 60s maybe late 40s I that's what I consider mature um so I have just not brand new eyelids um and brand new under eyes but this and and so a lot of concealers will leave crepiness they won't blend well They'll end up looking really dry, especially after I set them with my KKW powder, which, which I know it's not the powder because it doesn't do that with all of them. It just does it with certain concealers. This, it does not do that with. I almost don't even need the KKW with this because of the fact that it dries down so nicely. And, um, but I do still because I have just lines under, just a line under here that I've had my entire life. Um, and I have to kind of set it so that it doesn't um, settle into that line and I'm constantly having to fidget with it throughout the day. A plus, love this concealer, would would definitely repurchase this a million times over. Um, the other product I've been really liking is the Monsieur Big Mascara. It's just, that's my top dog right now. I have been using some use in the beginning, the uh, Fenty Mascara. I just cannot get on board with this brush. The formulation in this is really nice. I like that it's not a super wet um, foundation or a eye mascara. I like that it goes on and it kind of stays on. I don't like that I have to keep adding it and adding it and adding it and adding it to get anywhere. And that on the side that's flat, I literally feel like I'm using a paddle, like a flat paddle to do my mascara. I don't like that. Um, this one has just so far hasn't let me down. It's got a great brush. It's formulation is not too wet and it's not too dry. It's just perfect. So right now that is my go-to. Um, my favorite blush product of the moment right now um, it's called Hot Fix. Um, this I was told it was an exclusive to Sephora or to Nordstrom. This is what it looks like. I love this. I think it's so beautiful. Um, it's absolutely stunning. The if you do it right, <laughs> the colors are very beautiful and, and obviously very blendable because I was able to take it down a little bit and it not look like it make me look like a clown. Um and it is not, I have these ones, but I don't know where the blush palette is. Oh, here, I found it. So I wanna compare these two for you. So 
the, if you can tell, there is a huge difference. Okay, these ones are a little bit more pigmented, whereas these ones are kind of more browns and softs, pinks, and then the whole roll of highlighters, whereas this one only has one highlighter. These ones are creams in this one, in the um, Overlust palette. And this one only has one highlighter and they're not cream. It's not a cream, it's just a regular one of their highlighters. It's really, really pretty, but it's very, very soft and natural. Um, whereas these are also soft and natural, but you can definitely blend them up to be very, very pigmented. Oh, you can't even see it. So yeah, they are pretty natural. Very, pretty natural. Whereas um, this one, I guess, in, in the, oh my gosh, in the hot fix is a, is a little bit more no, I'd say they're about the same. Like you can't even see. Yeah. So to me, it's not about the highlighters. I would just really enjoy NARS's blushes. I think that they're beautiful. Stunning, stunning, stunning blushes. Their highlighters, eh, they're okay in these palettes anyways. But the blushes in either one of these are beautiful. This is just the one that I'm happening to enjoy a lot right now. This one as well. This one kind of is close to the one at the end of this one, which I think is called Sugar Spirit in, um, in the Hot Fix, and it's called uh, Drift in the Overlust. Yeah, so that's what I'm really, really enjoying for my cheeks. I've taken it back to the old school with my highlight, and I've been really loving the Amrezy. I think that she has literally hands down made the best highlighter in the entire world. Um, I have used other highlighters, like the one from um, Jaclyn Hill, which I still do really like. I think they're beautiful. They're very beaming. I will continue to use those as well, but this is just, she killed it. This needs to be permanent. I don't know what Anastasia's problem is that she hasn't made it permanent. I couldn't find this the other day and I literally almost had a panic attack because I know I don't have any more. Um, I wish they would at least have brought it out with the um, eyeshadow palette that she came out with. It just kind of like, hey, throw it out there, make some money, like take mine, you can have it for that pa for that um, highlighter. I'll give it to you. Um, um, I guess we can go into eyes. Um, the inner corner um, color that I've been really really liking is from Sydney Grace, and I still can't remember what the hell this is called. Bailey's Bliss. I remembered that's this color right here looks like this oh my gosh I hate single eyeshadows I'm telling you um, that's what it looks like it is so pretty it's just this very very iridescent beautiful white and it just goes so beautiful in the inner corner of any color that you use um, I am new to Sydney Grace. These are all the colors that I own from her. I ordered those new palettes that she came out with like two weeks ago. I still haven't even gotten a shipping confirmation. Don't know what's going on. It's kind of annoying. I know they're a smaller brand, but at the same time, don't sell things you don't have ready to go. Um, eyes, eyeshadows. Um, so that's what I've been liking for the inner corner. I have... I know that I haven't had these for very long, but I have been in love, in love with Makeup Geek. I've never used them before. This is my first time owning anything from Makeup Geek. I purchased these on my own, and I have been using at least one or more every day. Today, my whole eyeshadow look was done with these two colors here, and these two colors here and uh, like one from over here and I love the way it, it turned out it's kind of pushing me out of my box because I'm, I'm looking at these palettes and I really want to play with them um, I think that they're stunning and I'm definitely not regretting purchasing them um, the brushes that I'm really really enjoying that I think you guys should pick up if you can afford it because they're, they're wonderful, is um, the BK Beauty brushes and the Refer brushes. Like, these brushes are 
a phenomenal. I mean, these are just the, some of the best brushes I've ever used in my life. And I've used a lot of brushes, a lot of brushes. I mean, all the way going back to, um, you know, the originals when they were MAC and used um, natural hair. Um, not Natasha Denona, what is her name at Nordstrom? I don't know. I've just, I've used a lot because I've been into makeup for over 10, 15 years. Okay. So these ones have literally been ones that have never let me down. They blend everything so beautifully. This, I love this brush for any kind of powder. It's soft. It's already gone through a couple washings and it's kept its integrity. It's still kept its shape beautifully. The softness nicely. Same with these. I've washed this one probably about 10 times. The only thing I had a little bit of issues with was this and only with this because I own almost every single one of the refer brushes um, was this one was shedding on me just a little bit, but they corrected that. They sent me a new one for free um, and I was stunned because there's companies, um, Clarity Cosmetics for one, sent me a broken eyeshadow palette. I mean, the eyeshadow palette was a disaster and they refuse, refuse to make it right. So take note, Clarity Cosmetics, like companies, when you mess something up, when you send something broken, you are responsible until I get that palette. If I broke it, then it's my fault. But if I receive it that way, you need to handle it without asking me to pay to return it and then you'll help me No, So, um, yeah, I really, I think that that is pretty much, oh no, no, the bronzer I've been loving also is the um, ColourPop Becky G310 and that looks like this. I've been really liking this. You can kind of tell I've been using it if you get close. Yeah, this is this one has been looking really, really nice as kind of a nice soft just bronzer when I feel like I'm looking a little too pale. It's very, very winter here. It is freezing outside right now. Um, I need to get ready for, to host a Super Bowl party, so I'm up way before my family so I can go to the store and get all the things that we need that we forgot to get yesterday. Um, but I'm loving this. Beautiful, beautiful bronzer. Um, eyelashes that I've been really, really liking are the Ardell's. Those are just my diehards. I live for these. I bought some, um, I, some, I'm, oh my gosh, I think I just had a big, huge brain fart. I bought some eyelashes from Batty B Lashes. I've bought, purchased lashes from her before. So these ones are the saucy ones. I have, um, Instaho, um, which is like these. I have um, Batty, and I think that's, oh no, and I have Extra. And although these are really, really pretty, I wish that there were some that were just not so long. Um, you know, these I have on right now are long. They're almost, they are touching my eyebrows, but these on top of being really, really long are really, really thick. Ardell's just been doing me right for years, so I just kind of stick to that. Um, I think that's pretty much all I've got for favorites. Oh, no, no, no. There is one more eyeshadow palette that I've been loving that um, I think is beautiful. And if you can afford it, you should definitely get it. Pat McGrath. Mothership Labs um, Sublime Golden Opulence eyeshadow palette, and that is this one right here. This is literally like I love this. It is super wearable for every day. It's not to the point where you like it's not going to be usable for you. It's just going to sit there as a collector's item. No. These colors you could use every day in an office setting, in a any kind of a work setting. I wish I had, I'll have to use my thumb. This one at the bottom, in the middle. Oh my gosh, it is just seriously. These colors are beautiful. This palette is 
definitely for the everyday woman. Like you can, you'll be able to make beautiful looks out of this palette. Is basically what I'm saying. I really have been enjoying this. But if you have the um, Makeup Geek eyeshadows, you definitely, no, you could use this because these shadows, like this one right here and this one right here, are definitely, they are definitely um, special to Pat McGrath. I think that's it. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful Super Bowl Sunday. I hope that if you are going for a team that they win, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and a marvelous month, and I'll see you in the next one.